capsular contracture. And that is something that I really think patients sh should know and should understand. Yeah, I've never heard of this. So that's that's just you just absolutely just tee that up for me because no problem. That is common. So patients will know all these things that are, are really wrong, come in with those misconceptions, and then I'll say, okay, well, I go through all those, break all those myths. Mm. And then I say, okay, let's talk about capsule contraction. That's a really important thing. And then patients are like, well, what? What is that? What is that? Yeah, never and that's the most important thing to know. Mm -hmm. That's the most common cause of reoperation after having a breast augmentation. Mm -hmm. When an implant goes inside your body, your body can't reject it. Sometimes patients will think, oh, I'm rejecting an implant mm -hmm. or my mom. I heard or, that. Yeah. Yeah. But it's impossible. If I were to give you my kidney, you could reject my kidney because okay. we're not, yeah. you know, the chances are that my match is not going to be for right. you and your immune system will kill my kidney. Mm -hmm. You'll reject it. With a foreign body, mm -hmm. there's no, you know, if you look at my kidney, it has receptors, but with an implant, there's no receptors. Mm -hmm. So it's just an immunological ghost. So with an implant, because it's inert, object there's no receptors on it mm -hmm. so your body knows it shouldn't be there but it can't it doesn't go and reject it mm -hmm. so it just walls it off okay and it puts a capsule around it anything that goes in your body gets a capsule as a general surgery resident we would have to take out like catheters for patients getting chemotherapy if they got infected and it was fairly common and we would go and just do it at the bedside you'd make a little incision over where the catheter was and what you would notice right away is when you open that cap that that capsule it's a shiny glistening capsule that your body has formed and then in there is a little port and your body's already helped you, you close it up and everything heals. With the implant, it's exactly the same. The implant goes in, your body forms a capsule around it. So 100% of the people who have breast augmentation will get a capsule, maybe about 3% of patients. Mm -hmm. That capsule can become firm and it can become calcified mm. and it can contract and that can distort the way your breast looks because okay. it'll kind of squeeze and deform the implant mm -hmm. and it can rise. It's not medically harmful to you. And then there are other people where they have more severe capsular contracture where it really turns into a rock and rises up and it's uncomfortable, it hurts them, it bothers them, they don't like the way it looks. Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't look good when they're wearing their bras, their clothes. One is a lot higher than the other. So in those cases, we will usually intervene and, um, you know, operate. 